TV with me, Isma. The rise of digital platforms and social media has transformed how individuals interact with financial opportunities, creating both innovative avenues and potential pitfalls. Recently, two alarming scams have surfaced in India, attracting significant media attention and raising concerns about the influencer responsibility and consumer protection. The first involves the Highbox mobile app, which defrauded thousands of investors through false promises of high returns, while the second features a bizarre scheme in Kanpur that exploited the elderly with fraudulent claims of a time machine. Both cases highlight the growing trend of scams leveraging technology and influencer marketing, emphasizing the need for vigilance and regulatory scrutiny. Here's a special report from Foresight's TV. The Highbox app launched in February 2024 presented itself as an investment platform promising daily returns between 1 to 5 percent. The app attracted over 30,000 users who invested their money after being influenced by popular social media figures, including actor Rhea Chakraborty and comedian Bharti Singh. As the app began to withhold payments citing technical and legal issues, a wave of complaints flooded in prompting an investigation by the Delhi police. Over 500 individuals reported losing money due to the app leading to the arrest of the primary suspect, Sivaram, a Chennai resident. Deputy Commissioner of Police Himant Tiwari stated that the investigation also scrutinizes the roles of payment platform EaseBuzz and PhonePay for potentially violating Reserve Bank of India guidelines. EaseBuzz has claimed to have acted proactively by blocking the merchant associated with Highbox and filing a suspicious transaction report within the Financial Intelligence Unit of India. In a separate but equally concerning case, a couple in Kanpur, Rashmi and Rajiv Dubey, allegedly defrauded elderly individuals by claiming to offer oxygen therapy through an Israel-made time machine. They promised that their therapy could reverse aging effects, particularly targeting older adults in a city plunged by pollution. Each session was priced at 90,000 rupees, and the couple employed a pyramid scheme model to expand their clientele, offering discounts for referrals. The police reported that the couple amassed approximately 35 crore rupees through this fraudulent operation, with several victims coming forward to share their experience. As investigations unfold, authorities are working to identify more victims and have filed an FIR against the couple who are now at risk of fleeing the country. The emergence of these scams underscores the pressing need for regulatory measures to protect consumers, especially vulnerable groups like the elderly. The high box case exemplifies the dangers of influencer marketing in the financial sector where personalities can unintentionally lead their followers into precarious financial situations. Similarly, the Kanpur time machine fraud highlights the length to which individuals may go to exploit societal fears such as aging and health concerns. As these investigations continue, it is crucial for both consumers and regulatory bodies to remain vigilant against deceptive practices and to advocate for stronger safeguards in digital transaction and advertising. That's all for today. Thanks for watching Foresight TV with me, Esma.